Hey guys, uh, welcome back for another fun-filled, epic uh, dynamics video. Uh, we're in block 13.2, talking about the conservation of energy. And here we have an orbit example. So we're given that the satellite launches from uh, the perigee of this uh, orbital ellipse. And at the perigee, the height is 500 kilometers. It is launched at uh, 36,900 kilometers per hour. And uh, we are asked to find the max altitude, the height at the apogee uh, at point A. Uh, and then the, uh, the second part, then with the max error in trajectory, if the minimum height is uh, 200 kilometers per hour. So when we derived the equations for potential energy, uh, we didn't cover the big uh, gravity equation. Uh, and it's it's pretty straightforward since so two is actually down here, down there, a little, a little closer to it. So it's just minus big G, big M, little m over R. And that is the potential energy for uh, U2 uh, gravity. So our equation is TP plus BP equals TA plus VA, right? We just substitute uh, our values in for uh, these. So you have one half MVP squared minus GMM over R equals one half MVA squared minus GMM over R. And let's see, this is RP, this is RA. Okay, the mass is all cancel because there's a mass in every term. And we'll just collect like terms. So one half of VP squared minus VA squared is equal to say GM times one over RP minus one over RA. Okay, and in this problem, uh, in this equation right here, we have two unknowns, right? We have the uh, velocity at the apogee and the radius of the apogee. Uh, and, you know, keep in mind that the radius and the height are not the same thing. And we'll get to that. So we need to get this uh, V a out, and what we can do is we can use the conservation of momentum, right? So here, let's put a star here. We'll say RP VP equals RA VA, where we drop the um, masses because they showed up in both equations. And this allows us to uh, find this relation, VA equals uh, VP. RP over RA, right? and we'll substitute that in here. And so that gives us one half, uh, and VP squared minus VP squared. Here, this is going to be RP over RA squared. And that's going to equal uh, and then we're going to move the uh, one half over. So that's going to be two. And GM equals uh, GR squared. And we know G and we know R. So we use those GR squared. And over here, uh, rather than recently, we just factor the uh, VP squared out. So this ends up being. Um, Minus, and then this is VP squared. And if we factor out the RP here, the RP, then we get one minus RP over RA. Okay, and finally, we can move the uh, VP squared over here. Okay, and we get this relationship. 
Now, this is a difference of squares, right? And if we expand it, then we get one minus RP over RA times one plus RP over RA is equal to uh, this. And uh, for the time being, let's just call this, uh, we'll call this phi, right? So we'll just call this phi and we'll come back to it. Equals phi times one minus RP over RA. Okay, so this, this and this cancel, right? And we get one plus, uh, you can see it, one plus RP over RA equals uh, phi. And so if we solve this for RA, then we're subtracting one and that gives us uh, RP over RA equals uh, phi minus one. And so then RA, going to be equal to RP, RP over phi minus one. So let's find out what phi minus one is. And uh, because we're given uh, RP, we can find RP very quickly. So let's see that, let's find RP and we'll find phi. Okay, so RP is what it is R, so 6.37 times 10 to the sixth. I use E calculator speed because it's faster. Plus, and then this is 500. It's 500 miles, it's kilometers, excuse me, kilometers. So it's times 1,000 uh, meters. This is 0.5 times 10 to the sixth. So this is going to give us 6.87 times 10 to the six, and that's in meters. So phi, we'll say phi minus one. Phi minus one is gonna be equal to, well, let's say two, two times 9.81 times r squared. So that is 6.37 times 10 to the six squared. That's gonna be over vp squared, rp squared. So uh, VP squared is this squared, so 10 to 50 squared times RP, and RP is right here, 6.87 times 10 to the sixth. That's going to be minus one, and that's going to give us. 0 0.10299. All right, so we have RP and we have P minus one. So RA is equal to 6.87 times 10 to the six divided by 0 0.10299, uh, which is equal to 66.7 times 10 to the uh, this is RA, so uh, again, we're interested in HA. So HA is equal to RA minus R. So 66.7 minus 6.37. This is all times 10 to the sixth. And that gives us H is equal to 66.7 minus 6.37 is 60.33 times 10 to the sixth meters. Okay, all right, so for part B, they want us to find the max error in trajectory. And so here, what we do is B, we'll say H min equals 200. And we want the max error in trajectory. So that's going to be an angle. And so what it is, the 
uh, schematic of this looks like looks like this. So if this is our uh, planet there, then go into point P. This is our orbit uh, orbit trajectory. We'll just say orbit. Okay, so we need two reference points. We'll go with P because it's well defined. Say this is P, and this is our uh, trajectory. So we need, there's an angle right here. We usually don't use it because we consider the uh, angle of our uh, tangential to be uh, 90 degrees uh, at all times, but uh, it's actually uh, here, this, this conservation equation uh, expands. I'm going to show you in just a second how that works. So here, if we call this point zero, this is our trajectory here. Uh, this right here is our angle in question. And uh, so by the conservation of energy, or uh, excuse me, the conservation of momentum, this guy here, uh, when it's angular, we can say R P V P sine uh, theta naught uh, is equal to this. And here we get our R is at its minimum and our V is at its maximum, right? So we are closest to the planet and um, moving along the fastest. Now we are interested in V max here. So if we solve this for V max, then that is RP over R min times VP times the sine of V naught. And, and let's see, I calculated that. It is uh, V max here is is equal to one zero seven one eight uh, times sine of V naught and right so that would be in meters per second. Okay, so now. Uh, we, go, we come back to the conservation of energy. So uh, let's see, which one can we use? Let's use this one right here. So VP squared minus the max squared is equal to 2g r squared. And then that is 1 over rp minus 1 over r min. And when we bring uh, to substitute the Vmax that we got for this Vmax and uh, do some algebra, uh, we'll add this, subtract this, so we get this squared. So 10718 sine v squared equals v squared max, excuse me, v squared p minus 2gr. 1 over Rp minus 1 over Rn. Okay, we'll go through the same process we did over here. I will divide out the uh, square here. This will be divided. And then we take the inverse sign. And that ends up giving us that this is plus or minus 11.5 degrees. So this is our max allowable error. And 
uh, I hope this uh, helped to expand the conservation of energy equation, or excuse me, discussion a little bit. And thank you for watching.